Oh my God, it's the game of all games within the show of all shows. What's the game called? Uh, it's called the game of all games. No, the game is called There's a Song About That. You jippy little hippie. Now listen to me. And what happens is, is we bullshit away about some real heavy crap. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pick the song that goes with the theme yeah. of the beatitude that usually I yeah. start blurting out. Yes. You understand? Yes. And tonight, I want to talk about a few things. But I think I will start with academic retardation because it was requested of me to say a few words about uh, poor old uh, Jordan, Jordan Peterson. Mm -hmm. Because he had to sign himself into rehab. Mm -hmm. So I took a look at it because they wanted me to do it. And I went, oh, my God, I'm not going to. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty heavy critic. Mm -hmm. And his family's like not having a good time. Yeah. I know some of the reasons. So I'm just going to say two or three things. So anyways, and then it's going to be tons of the old medicine. Mm -hmm. The country love songs and mm -hmm. duets mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shut up mom you're not even excited like me live from the Brawl room studios it's a really big old time radio medicine show with three chords and the truth starring uh, molly griffin and her old dog do and her old dog do the Reverend Dr. Joe with G2. So what's the what's the song? What's the song? I set it up for a song. They want a song. Yeah. How about this one? <laughs> Send a message to myself. How about we do it in the right key? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but that would be really high. Like, wait, you want to try it? No, I don't want to do it in the right key. Just a, no, no. Nope. Send a message nope. to my heart. I'm going to block just your like mic. Right, doesn't it? Stop okay. it. Get in a B, Dad. I don't want to sing that song. Oh. I just wanted, because it's funny, I made up this other words. Uh -huh. Send a message, you know, send a message to my heart mm -hmm. on the wings of the wind. Mm -hmm. Well, what about send a message to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 you know the areas that it wants you to take care of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up! Nobody knows what I'm talking about because they don't watch enough shows. Maybe they do. Yeah, they do now. By now. Mm -hmm. So now that let's sing. I uh, saw so what what song? Cowboy logic. It should be more like crazy cowboy. Something to do with being crazy because by now people think crazy little thing called it. Yeah, let's do that one. We haven't done that for a long, long time. But what key is it? We've done it all over the place lately. Well, this thing. This thing. Called love. Called love. I just this can't handle it. Oh, well, this thing. This thing. Called love. Called love. Let's get around to it. I ain't ready for well, this crazy little thing called love. Well, this thing. This thing called love, called love. Cries like a baby in a cradle all night Oh, it swings mm -hmm. And it jives it And it shakes all over like a jellyfish I kind of like it yeah. Crazy little thing called love There goes my baby Sing it, Dad It knows how to rock and roll Drive me crazy a hot and cold fever, she leaves me in a cool, cool sway. Yeah, I gotta be cool mm -hmm. and relax mm -hmm. and get hit and get on my track and take a back seat, a yeah, shy and take a little long ride on my motorbike until I'm ready for this crazy little thing called love. There goes my baby. She knows how to rock and roll. She drives me crazy. She gives my heart gold fever. She 
leave me in a cool, cool sweat. Hey, I got to be cool and relax and get hit and get on my track and take a back seat shot and take a little long ride on my motorbike until I'm ready for this crazy little thing called life. Crazy little thing called life. Hey, it's a crazy little thing called love. Oh, you're the Leo. Think of love. It's a really big old time radio medicine show. Coming to you like we're moving now. We're moving from um, down around Nashville Way mm-hmm. to down around Burbank Way. Burbank. We're moving up. We're moving down, actually. Well, in ways we're moving up, in ways we're moving down. Mm-hmm. And our final destination will be up in the northwest. All right. How do you figure? I don't know. It's all bullshit to me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to take the ride, Dad? No, I wanted to say something about uh, academic retardation first, sh- shouldn't I? Retardation, yes. Academic retardation. Now, here's the thing. We all know, this is well known, when writing came, we lost our memory for storytelling. We lost a lot of memory. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I noticed with with, um, Jordan Mm -hmm. is a little academic retardation. Mm Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's ended up, he's gotten sucked in. Mm-hmm. By the healthcare industry, mm-hmm. and I noticed that they can't. I would listen to his doctor talk. Uh, his uh, daughter, mm-hmm. it's close, right, doctor? <laughs> <laughs> listen to his daughter talking about it, and you could tell. And I'm telling you, I I know a little about bit about what's happening. All mm-hmm. through it, I kept going, "Oh my God, they're getting nailed here." Yeah, they are getting nailed. He ended up after they cut his wife's bowel or. No, it wasn't their bowel, but it, you know how when they're in mm-hmm. there operating, they, oops. Yeah. <gasps> nip, there used to be something called nip. nip nip tuck? Nip tuck, yeah. That's different. No, no, but there was a heavier one called nick it or something. Uh, whatever. Oh. They slip. Yeah. And they did with his wife. Oh, jeez. You know where she ended up? Just like I say on the show all the time, where do Canadians end up ultimately if they got any dough? In America. They'll go, because America's actually 36, we're 31, we're all third world here in Canada and the U.S. because we're run by the big pharma down on Wall Street. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big conspiracy, it's a deal. It's not a conspiracy, it's a reality. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a case of the big lie, Mom. Yeah. The big lie. There's an elephant in the room and he is an emperor with no clothes. (laughs) That's what it is. Yeah. I'm not going into that because I'm not feeling political tonight. Good. Now, what was I talking about? They nicked her. They nicked her, so they ended up flying her down. I can see all this money that that uh, Jordan has gotten from his fame, which, yeah. by the way, his fame is way, way too high for himself, and that's what's falling apart, you know, benzodiazepines, you know. Mm-hmm. He's not what everybody thinks he is Mm -hmm. he's put on this guru act man and it's like or he's just been given it no 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 he's pumped it he's pumped it like crazy because he's really angry at the establishment eh? that's what it is that's where all his juice comes from Mm -hmm. I think that's all just a minute check the hand (laughs) yeah what does that say Way beyond. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, it's gone way beyond. It's like, um, I think Jordan should come down and watch a show, tell you the truth. Yeah. Get him into some of the heavier stuff. <laughs> you know. Because he gets a little sky. I watch him debating. He looks a little ADD. I'm mm, yeah. telling you right what now. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you sure as hell do. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, we got to take a ride. Yeah. And I don't mean on a big eight-wheeler. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hey, step you up. you want to take a big eight wheeler out to the radio station? We can. We can. Ladies and gentlemen, step outside the door of your mind. Because there's an old big eight wheeler. There's a big eight wheeler. There's a big eight wheeler waiting there's just outside. There's a big eight wheeler and she's rolling outside the city line. We're going to take a ride. Going to take a ride. Up as a honky tonk. Pass the honky tonk. And pass the county line. And the county line. Through the amber waves of grain. Through the waves of grain. And past the dairy cow. With that big to the brown. old country chill, the old country chill road. Yeah. It's country road. The old country road. Gonna take you home. And all the girlies toes are hanging out of the window. Somebody sees a great big old tower. It's a big old radio tower. Station GHRT. Station GHRT. Station GHRT. Is there for you and me? Is there for you and me? Uh, brought to you by Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you anything want. Anything you want. That at Alice's Restaurant. Oh, down at Alice's Restaurant. You can pull in the old station there, go in the front door and see a uh, front desk there and see uh, Betty Page. Betty Page. In her prime. Back in the day. And she'll give you a special tea and send you down the stairs here to me. And Molly. <laughs> you know me and Molly. To the Griffin Art Studios? Yeah, to the Griffin Art Broiler Room Studios. For the really big old time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth, starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Doo. And the Reverend Dr. Joey G, too, coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind, where the show always starts in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of the singing DJ. Spin them on our souls. 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 Ba be a fee oop, ba 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 de oop, ba de oop, ba bo ba. Must have been something teaching about that. If you try to make it on the YouTube, just watch what we do, because we're huge. Mm -hmm. And I mean huge. <laughs> we're taking down PewDiePie, they tell me. Yeah? Yeah. Are we? It's huge. Wow. It's huge. Man. It's a podcast, you know. <laughs> it's a golden podcast, you know that. It's a podcast. And, you know, they say there's only, like, I think 500 million now. 500 million what? Podcasts. Oh. <laughs> so you got... <laughs> And you got 8 billion people. Uh-huh. That would be 16. Yeah. 16 different kinds of podcasts. That's okay. There, I think uh, 499,000 of those are about murder. So, I think we're okay. Everybody likes murder. Everybody likes murder. <laughs> because everybody's bored. They have boring lives. Yeah. Which is what we're all about, the evolution revolution. Because mm -hmm. that's what your brain gets the maddest about. Mm -hmm. is being bored that's why if you notice down in the middle east they never stop fighting yeah and everybody that keeps fighting they keep the sense of purpose yeah until they get what they want that's what we did here too mm -hmm. everywhere isn't that neat that's why yeah. i say that's why we need to do what i said just change the rules get rid of all the big guns and crap like that and yeah. just go bare knuckle no no weapons. UFC only. No rules. Yeah. Uh, biting, yeah. eye gouging yeah. is in. Yeah. It's in. <laughs> and I get the rights with the televised. And it's all televised. Yeah, like the Hunger Games. I get the syndication or whatever they call it. <laughs> is that what they call it? <laughs> oh, well, anyways, a academic retardation. Holy crap. Got off, got off the line there. Well, you keep your kid in school. Um, Jordan Peterson, uh -huh. he's never been anywhere but school. Mm-hmm. He's parroting psycho psychological experiments mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's just all, you know, and every time something comes up, he just throws about 15 things at it about that. So they're not necessarily dead on what they're talking about. But mm -hmm. I know this, I know this, I know this. Uh, and everybody's going, ooh. Yeah. That a guru. Yeah. That a guru, man. Well, I mean, he, he's 
been through stuff. I with like his Jordan. He's, he's been through stuff. With yes. his daughter and now oh, his wife. Oh, he's been through a lot lately. Yeah. Now but he's his, starting. His, his now he's starting to get some texture in his tapestry. Well, his daughter's stuff was before he was. Oh, scooping. I know. I knew. I knew that. That's where the heart. I'm not talking about those. Those are real. Mm-hmm. But I'm. I'm just talking about. People that have never been out of school, really, yeah, have a tendency to think that they're like everybody else, yeah. but they're not really, yeah. because everybody else gets hit with a little more reality quicker. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. I just wanted to make sure we weren't being too insensitive. Well, you do that because, you know, I can say anything. <laughs> like this next thing I, I got written down here. American Dream Slaves. What do you think that's about? I don't know. It sounds interesting, though. Sounds erotic to me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You gotta have sex, Mo. In the show, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about in the show. Of course, you're too young for it. <laughs> but, you know, sex sells. Sex sells. Jesus. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Now, Dad. I said a lot of things. What's the song for all those things? Oh, my gosh. You said so much. Can we play? The game... I mean, we talked about the game big of all games within the show of all shows. We talked about the big eight wheeler, and we didn't actually sing the song. So should we actually? Jesus, sing the song? we just sang that last time. Come on, let's sing some. <sighs> let's sing some newer songs, like, like, let's see if we can screw up. Uh, I love this bar. All right. How does it start? Uh, we got winners. We got losers. <laughs> I think you it's gonna. Already started. Okay. You want to do it in like a G sharp or an A, so you're more comfortable. Anything will beat this. <laughs> do it in an A, Dad. Didn't I do, used to do it in G at the very beginning? I don't know, but I know you. Well, how well, how's it start? Starts oh, with she you. She said I've seen No, something. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time or two. Well, I love this bar. She we said I... No. Oh, that's the other we one. We got winners. <laughs> okay, how's, your, how's the bar start? <laughs> we got winners. Oh, that's right. We got winners, we got losers, chain smokers and boozers, <laughs> we got yuppies, we got bikers, early birds and all-nighters, and the girls next door dress up like movie stars. Oh, We got short shirts, we got high techs, we got them blue collar boys and rednecks, we got hustlers, we got fighters, early birds and all nighters, and the vets curse the power of friends they lost, yeah, friends they lost. Take her out to dinner. I like to move in now and then. But I love this barn. Oh, it's my kind of place. Just trolling around that dance floor. Puts a big smile on my face. No covered shot. Oh, come as you are. Here you go, Ma. Mm-hmm. I love this bar. Oh, mm-hmm. I love this bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just love. 
love this old bar, ma. I'm slipping down in the seat. You see, I'm so drunk. I love this bar. I'm gone now. See, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get distracted, man. Do it, do it on the computers and take me right out. Yeah, fix it all up. Make it look like a million bucks. Because that's how much I'm getting per show now. A million bucks. Hey, where, where's my cut? <laughs> hey, just a minute. A million bucks a show for singing through your nose. Not bad. Pretty good. Yeah, they look down on us hillbillies, don't they, Ma? They sure do, Dad. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the la, hillbillies. La, la, Now, American Dream Slaves. American well, Dream Slaves. I don't want to talk too much about it because it is kind of dark. Yeah. All right. But that, the American Dream is the carrot. Our society is all about taking advantage of the slower and less savvy. Which is a problem for too much academic. You'll see the, like, I'm not left or right or nothing, mm -hmm. right? I don't know enough about it to be left or right, and I think it's stupid to divide yourself like that because you get weak to the real power. Yeah. You should really look at who you're, you know, the, the, the banks and shit that, that Obama and all those people, uh, all of them cater to. Mm -hmm. That's what we should be addressing. Yeah. Now, the dollar. Uh, do you know anything about the dollar? No. There's no more gold, Ma. I'm not getting into it. There's nothing back in it except IOUs. <laughs> what? I'm not shitting oh, you. Oh, There's I, yeah, nothing there. They're money. just moving things, and yeah. they, it looks like a pink Cadillac thing where they're raking it in and got total control, and holy jumping Jesus. Mm -hmm. 2008, nothing. Wait. <laughs> 2008, just wait. <laughs> so you got that carrot and that carrot says go to your bank and get a loan for a house and a car mm -hmm. doesn't it yeah go get a loan for a house and a car yeah and everything's gonna be all right there being no more mass burners down the block yeah no more nothing just get that house and get that car and start paying me you're giving me anxiety. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, see, I get too. I get too. I'm telling this story. It's too, it's too close to my life right now. Dad. I'm Irish, and we tell stories. <laughs> we, we get emotional when we. Now I need to go get a house and buy a car. I'm not talking about the rest of it. It's too dark. All right. <laughs> We're all slaves to the American dream and the American I'll dream. I'll just tell you one thing, one more thing to freak out about you. I'll just keep, tell you one. It's probably less than 5%, okay? It's probably, uh, God only knows, it might be a negative number, but right. it, I'm just used 5%. Mm -hmm. If 5% of the people go to the bank and ask for their money, it's all over. 5%? 5%. Wow. And the bank on 10 but inside there, they've got it all so worked up trying to skim as much as they can possibly skim right down to the yeah. whatever. Go into your bank and try to get some cash. <laughs> Go see if you can get five or $10,000 cash. It takes them ages. <laughs> it's bizarre. That's we'll be okay. talking about that. We'll be talking anyway. about that in other shows. But now that I've done a B2 toot on it, you know what we should be doing? What we should be singing? What? John Anderson. Money in the bank. Oh, I don't know that one, Dad. No, um, well, <laughs> I could, if you could start, <laughs> I could do something. Well, I, I don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a John Anderson song. Okay. That's closer. Okay. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you do. Of course you do. About the old country singer. You know the crowd was very small? You know the crowd was very small. For a country music show Oh, but he thanked the curtain call Just like it was years ago And then a lady grabbed his arm As he staggered down the aisle And with all his country charm He addressed her with a smile Hey, would you catch a falling star before it crashes to the ground? Hey, don't you know how people are? Nobody loves you when you're down. Hey, pick me up and take me home. 
I can bring my old guitar We'll play some golden oldie songs You could catch a falling star Play some golden oldie songs You can catch a falling star He had a silver plated bus So did I And a million country fans now there's just a few of us. Oh, he drives a little van. And they were beating down his door. The lovely ladies left him dry. Now he's on the hardwood floor. One where spend the night. Hey, would you catch a falling star? Before it crashes to the ground Hey, don't you know how people are Nobody loves you when you're down Hey, pick me up and take me home I can bring my old guitar We'll play some golden oldie songs You can catch a long star you can catch a falling star Before it crashes to the ground Hey, don't you know how people are? Let's do some John Anderson. Nobody loves you when you're down They pick, they pick me up and take me home I can bring my old guitar That's more like Relapti for sale. Hey, the golden, 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 golden country song You can catch a we play some golden country song. You can catch a falling star. We play some golden country song. You can catch a falling star. What's your ain't final ain't thoughts ain't for the show, Dad? no rules. Final thoughts. Academic retardation. Final thoughts for the show, Dad. There's where I started. Send a message to yourself. <laughs> That's a good... Oh, you know what my final message is? What? From now on, you, I, you, you, you're too young. But mm -hmm. there used to be a guy named Walter Cronkite. If you look at some old y things, yeah. you'll see Walter Cronkite. He was, like, bigger than anybody now. I mean, he owned that position. Yeah. He was like dad. Yeah. He's bigger than the president, really. Yeah. More trusting. Yeah. More trustworthy. Yeah. And he used to say something every night. Mm -hmm. He used to say the date. He used to say, it's September 27th, 2072. <laughs> no, 1957. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, I kind of blew it. <laughs> blew the rhythm of it. 1958. This is the key line, though, anyway, right? And you were there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to plagiarize. Uh, he didn't make it up anyway. It's not his words. Yeah. I'm going to snatch some of it because mm -hmm. I watched that documentary. And I'm telling you, they're all taking melodies from everybody. They're just sharing. Mm -hmm. they, I don't think they fight much about it. <laughs> I guess they do in copyright. Because <laughs> it's, it's uh, going on. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say it's September 27th, 1959, and were you there? <laughs> 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 you know, be here now. Yeah. You know, but I, <laughs> I never talk about that because, you know, I can. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I will say one thing about it just before we go, okay? Okay. These yahoos that go, be here now, just be here now, be here now. Well, you know, Mother Nature gave us something called a memory. Uh -huh. And on the flip side of that is foresight. Yeah. And she gave us that for survival. Yeah. So you can't just be here now. No. Yeah, okay, it's nice. To be, you can settle in. To you can appreciate what you have when yeah, you have it. Yeah, but why don't they say that part of it, too? Like yeah. I'm saying, maybe but somebody will believe you. Yeah, plan ahead and remember your mistakes and try not to make them again. And yeah. Get on with it. Now, what's a big song to finish it off with? Uh, I want to sing together again. Really? Yeah. And what key did you want to sing that in? You want to go high like Buck? Yeah. Let's go like Buck. 
Ready? Yep. Together again. My tears have stopped falling on your back. My own now where you belong. The love that we knew oh, it's living again. Oh, nothing else matters now. We're together again. No, nothing else matters now. We're together again. Together again. The gray skies are gone. I'm in your back in my own. Now where you belong. Love that we knew, oh, it's living again, and nothing else matters now. We're together again. No, nothing else matters now. We're together again. We done too. Nothing else matters now. We're together again. We're together. Look at Hank over on the board. He's together again with his goat skin sucking down the. He's a student of the grape. He never makes it to a show without that go sucking on his goat skin. Now go get his partner and get the star of the show up here. Ah, you guys are no good for nothing. He's Still alive. There he is, the star of the shoe. He was born in 1957. Remember, were you there? <laughs> no, everybody that watched the show knows they were there because they've lived for a half an hour at least. How much, much is that doggy in the wind? Oh, 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 oh the one with the, the waggly tick. Oh, the waggly tick. I said, how much? Is that doggy in the wind? Oh, 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 I do hope that doggies will sing. Because if he is, we're going to go get Roger Miller and we're going to go walking, walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. Bobby, oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you got to put a smile upon your face as if nothing wrong. But Bobby, oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you got to think about a good time. Had a long time ago, think about forgetting about your worries and your woes. Walking in the sunshine, singing a little sunshine song. Oh, now you all go walking in the sunshine, singing a little sunshine song. And speaking of sunshine, Ma, do you know what happens to a grape when it gets in the sunshine? What? It says, don't get above your raisin. <laughs> <laughs> now keep the cards and letters coming in, and we'll see you in the wet, the funny papers, and have yourselves a good old don't you be